welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are doing a review video on the Sea of Thieves. Now I haven't actually bought this game, what I've actually done is I've gone for the 14 day free trial on the Game Pass for the Xbox. Now this is a great way if you are not sure about buying this game and paying the full price of $49.99 then this is a great way for people like myself or people unsure about the game to go out play it for 14 days and see how you feel with it obviously try and play it with players because this game it does kind of get a bit boring on your own and it's very lonely trust me I've tried it um, but all in all it's an absolute stunning game I mean the environments although they're very cartoony very much like uh, a more modern probably Zelda game this game is absolutely stunning I just want to draw your attention to the water because this in my eyes is actually probably the best looking water I have ever seen in a video game that it's absolutely amazing and honestly like because I've got such a fear of like open water like having like being on my own sort of and then obviously falling off the edge of the map not knowing that actually falling off the edge of the map actually does destroy your ship turns your water red like a really blood red like you know like something's coming and it plays the most haunting music that will actually haunt your nightmares. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a little clip. If you're not sure of what I'm on about here. What I'm going to do is just play a little clip in the background. Probably about 30 seconds long. And it's just... You, you can just make it out for yourself. But honestly, like the first time I did this, I was on my own. I didn't know what the hell was going on. And oh, it's just so scary. Like the fact that the water is so real. it it, it I almost had to look away because... I, I just felt like I was suffocating. So, enjoy. So that not might have seemed very scary to some people, but to me, that was absolutely terrifying. Being on your own, and obviously with a fear of open water, it's, it's just not good for me. But it's an absolute beautiful game, and it's absolutely great with friends. Now it combines the PvE and PvP aspect. Now, as some of you already know, I'm not a very good PvP fan. You don't, like, the chances of actually running into a ship are actually quite... I don't know, medium I suppose, like I've ran into a few ships probably, I haven't been shot down by one yet, I've been shot at by one but I've managed to outrun them, it's, it's quite a funny story actually, basically um, I was playing the other day and we were just coming out of a outpost, just dropping off all our loot that me and my mate had picked up, uh, bear in mind we are just in a small ship and we literally see this big galleon behind us and I, oh my god like my heart was racing because I thought like if this galleon actually shoots us with all its cannonballs we are sunk like we had no loot on us so it wasn't really a, a problem too much but it was just the fact that like we stood no chance of actually surviving the attack so what I actually did was I actually tried to outrun them which is actually what I did um, and we circled around like this like this fort I think it was like two or three times and they just got fed up and rode away like i was absolutely so thrilled to get away from them because i knew we couldn't take them anyway but it's fun anyway and um i found out like the day after that it was actually one of my mates from work that was actually trying to shoot at us which was kind of a bit funny to be fair because he got absolutely angry as fuck and he was raging so it was really funny to me obviously not to him but yeah, but it's just it's just some of the sort of like I don't know the gameplay and the actual like strategic getaways you can do. Obviously, try and stay in front of the ship or behind the ship so they don't shoot you. This is just me being a coward basically. I don't like playing very aggressively. I play quite safe and I just like to get all my loot and then go home. 
and get all the gold. Now, I've tried some of the message in a bottles, which are very good, actually. Like, try and keep an eye out for those. It's a, it's a nice little feature in the game. However, the last two weeks that we'd done, it wasn't so much the puzzles that were hard. It was just the fact that the loot felt very underwhelming. And obviously that was a really big problem because obviously it took us a while to figure out what the the poem was all about or the riddle sorry and it, you know the riddles were really good they tested your abilities of observation and I'm, I'm good with puzzles anyway so this is right up my street and I, I really enjoy it actually being at the helm I like controlling the ship and ordering the crew around I'm yet to encounter the Kraken however the storms were so real like the lightning just felt like it was coming like outside it was it was amazing like they've really put so much detail into the graphical side and the environmental side of it and it's it's actually really paid off like you can even hear like the floorboards creaking your boat creaking every time it moves even the wheel feels quite stiff sometimes especially when you're controlling a very big boat now there are some bad points to sea of thieves obviously but I'm not, they're not so much like big things that will destroy the reputation of the game, but definitely a few points that I feel need to be said because obviously it, it is a good game, it is a big game. However, I don't feel that it's worth the $49.99 that you have to pay for it. Now, because it's a very basic game that we have, they will be adding more uh, regular updates and new things in it more often, quite often. So that's not the issue here. I mean, it is an issue the fact that they've not given us a complete full game worthy of 50 quid. But it's it's definitely like it will be worth it eventually. Do you know what I mean? This is why I've gone for the uh, 14 day free pass thing just to try it out because I didn't want to waste like 40, well, 49.99 spending it on a game I wasn't overly sure of so if you are like me and you, you do think that it's a game that you, you're interested in but you don't want to spend that much money then please do what I did it, it is worth it trust me and you don't have to spend a penny also I have a problem with the limited customization options especially with the ships now I think there's only about four or five maybe, maybe even a Maybe even 10 actually saying that. But they're not overly like wow factor. I, I mean, when I customize something, I like to make it wow. I like to make it stand out. I mean, you are supposed to be like trying to get away from other pirates and try not to make yourself look standy outy. But it would be quite cool to do it like that. And another thing, I think maybe like you should have uh, a customization where you can des design your own pirate flag so that when you have like a, a clan that you do it with quite often like a good four people that maybe have that on your sails and then people know that you're in a clan maybe something like that I mean I'm probably gonna do a video on things that probably would need improving or things that I feel that might need improving in the game I think additions to the game that might make it just that little bit better, I think. So I'll save that for another video. Now, I do feel that the game will be quite repetitive because, obviously, all you've got to do is go to a vendor on an outpost, pick up a bounty, go to the island, go do what you need to do there, come back, sell it, and so on and so forth until you start grinding up the money. Now, the grind is really fun. And, honestly, like it really doesn't bother me too much because of the, the atmosphere and the environment just looks beautiful. So they've absolutely nailed everything environmental in the game. So there's nothing I feel that they need to change there. However, there are certain things in the asp in the gameplay that I feel do. So I definitely rate this game at least an 8 out of 10 with some improvements needed. So I have rambled and I do apologise. So if you did like this video, please like and subscribe and if you do want to see more from me please hit the bell next to it because it really does help this channel and it will notify you every time you get a well every time i post a new video so thank you very much for watching this video please please take care of yourself and others and goodbye for now